Juan Carlos Ferrero explained how Novak Djokovic had been able to surpass his rivals Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. Juan Carlos Ferrero has explained now Novak Djokovic managed to master a difficult formula that allowed him to be the best in tennis, surpassing Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. The coach of Carlos Alcaraz said Djokovic's superiority couldn't be argued given his records in the sport as he shared the dedication it took for the world number one to be the greatest. Djokovic cemented his status as the GOAT this year when he became the first player in the Open era to reach 24 Grand Slam titles. The Serb is also already the leader for all-time weeks at number one in the world and will reach a new milestone come Monday when he begins his 400th week atop the rankings. Coupled with some of his other accomplishments, including a record-extending 40th Masters 1000 crown he recently won in Paris, Carlos Alcaraz's coach has branded Djokovic the best player in the world. With Djokovic's numbers there is no debate, Juan Carlos Ferrero told Marca. You may like Rafa more, you may like Federer's style more, but in terms of numbers the best in history is Novak. Ferrero himself can claim some bragging rights in Djokovic's dominant 2023 season, which has seen him lose just six matches so far this year. The world no one won three of the four Grand Slam titles this season, with his only loss coming to Ferrero's charge Alcaraz in the Wimbledon final. The 20-year-old became the first man in a decade to beat Djokovic on center court as he lifted the trophy at SW19. But Ferrero wasn't surprised to see the Serbs sweep the other majors. Reflecting on Djokovic's feat of winning three slams in 2023 the third time in his career he has done so, the retired former world number one said, I am not surprised. He is a player who lives for and to play tennis and achieve results at the highest level. Quote dot. Ferrero explained that it was tough to have a personal life alongside the dedication required to play tennis though he thought Djokovic was also the best when it came to finding the right formula. Everything he does is to be physically perfect, from food, to rest, the Spaniard continued. To be very good at something you have to excel a lot in certain things. Those who really want to become very, very good have to be there for, ages. It is very difficult, today. To want to have a life parallel to training and professionalism, and to dedicate just enough to tennis. It has to be the other way around. Djokovic, in that, is the best. While the 2003 French Open winner has no problem identifying Djokovic as the best player, he will be hoping that the world number one suffers another defeat to his charge when they meet at the ATP Finals on Saturday. Djokovic and Alcaraz are facing off for the fifth time with their head-to-head -head all square at 2-2. The Serbs saved a match point to win their last meeting in the Cincinnati final and the world number two will be out for revenge under the tutelage of Ferrero.